first knew at six, a shocking win for one candidate in Tuesday's election. Listen to this. A white guy led voters to believe he was black to win a seat on the Houston Community College Board. Here's one we hadn't heard before, and he's not denying what he did. Our Doug Miller has more on this unusual campaign. On election night, as some candidates celebrated victory, not many people noticed a campaign shocker. Nobody was shocked more than me. That's Where's Dave Wilson, an anti-gay activist and a sort of political mischief maker who put his name on the ballot. I had always said it was a long shot. No, I didn't expect to win. Can I vote for you? He ran against this man, Houston Community College trustee Bruce Austin, who voters have elected and re-elected for 24 years. Well, I was rather disgusted. Disgusted by something that turned up in voters' mailboxes. Now, most of the voters in the district involved in this election are African American. Uh, Wilson sent out a bunch of these direct mail pieces, implying uh, that he's African American. His flyers depicted smiling African American faces. The words said, "Please vote for our friend and neighbor, Dave Wilson." The pictures, he admits, were just lifted off the internet. Well, all of these supporters are African American. What a coincidence! The flyers said he was endorsed by Ron Wilson. <laughs> No, not the former state representative. The fine print says Ron Wilson is Dave Wilson's cousin. cousin. That's correct. We are. You really got a cousin named Ron Wilson? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Edna and Gene's boy. Yeah. Yeah. Did, 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 did he really endorse you? Yeah. Yeah. You called him I up called soon? him up. Yeah. He said Bloomfield, Iowa. Yeah. In a heavily African American district, Wilson won by 26 votes. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good for both democracy and the whole concept of fair play. But that was not his intent, apparently. Austin has said he'll ask for a recount. But in an era of electronic voting, political analysts think Wilson's victory will hold, despite his deliberately deceptive flyers. Doug Miller, KHOU 11 News. Strange but true, Wilson says that he's fed up with what he calls all the shenanigans going on at the Houston Community College system. If his victory holds, he'll serve on that board for the next six years.